Hey guys, Jeff with West Guy Designs here with you today. We just finished up this 2017 Tundra. We supercharged it. It's got a lot, it already came in. It had long travel already on it. it. had 35, 12 and a half by 17s on it. And it's got 48 gears on it. So this supercharger is really gonna help power this thing. It's, uh, I wanna just share, if you look at the install down here and you look, it looks pretty much factory with all the fittings and the connectors and the coverings over the hoses and stuff like that. So a lot of times with these superchargers, when we get them, you know, when they're all done and we look at them, they look so factory clean. Uh, it's got the upper reservoir here. They put this at the highest point and that's so that the system will burp itself. So obviously it can get all the air out of the system. Um, it's got a front mounted intercooler up here. So when we're doing these kits on these trucks, we always tell everybody you got to, from that point forward, you got to run at least 91 octane in them just to get the performance. And on top of that, you don't want to get any kind of detonation inside the motor that could cause damaging to these engines. Uh, they do have uh, hyper detected pistons in them. And so what we like to make sure is that people are running that higher octane fuel in these things just to minimize any chance for detonation on them, but also to maximize the performance that this thing is going to run. Obviously, the better fuel you run in it, the more timing it's going to allow itself to put into it, the more performance you're going to get out of this. A lot of times it takes to cycle through a, a tank of gas in these trucks when you're when you're going to do them to get more octane or uh, higher octane rating and then also get the timing to uh, in, continue to add timing into the vehicle with these uh, for, for performance. And people sometimes ask me, what other things can I do to the truck to make it even run better? Uh, one of the things I tell them, you know, full length uh, headers on this or long tube headers on it, high flow cats, uh, full exhaust. Uh, they make a different crank pulley by a company called Z Industries, or excuse me, a, a different blower pulley made by Z Industries. It's a smaller one in size, so it allows it to run a couple more pounds of biz. They make a larger crank pulley for these. I usually tell people to start with the crank pulley because it's larger, it has more diameter, and it allows for better uh, traction of the belt. When you go to a smaller blower pulley, uh, problem is, is obviously you're increasing the boost pressure, which then puts more load on the belt and the belt tends to slip a little more, but there is that company that I just mentioned, uh, Z Industries out of California, and it's got a grip tech technology, works really, really well with that. Um, also, there's a larger throttle body you can add to these. Um, they make a 92 millimeter throttle body. I think it's offered by a company called Rogue Off-Road up in Las Vegas. So uh, just wanted to share that with you. You know, if you're thinking about putting a Magnuson supercharger on it, they work really, really well. Uh, we have a lot of good luck with, we do probably about 10 installs a month. Uh, they're more forerunners are the ones that we tend to do on these things. Um, but we do, we do probably three or four uh, tundras a month. So here's one we wanted to share with you and hope you guys enjoy it there. And if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions you may have on any vehicle that you're looking to put a supercharger on. Again, have a great day. Thanks so much.